I ain't seen Space Man <laughs> in a minute. In a big minute. Man, that shit used to be the shits though. Today is our first double take react. Ta da! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Welcome to the show. So, episode one, we're reacting to Jubilee's recent video titled Are Men Superior to Women Alpha vs. Betas? The Middle Ground. And quite personally, I ain't watched this video yet. Jamal ain't watched this video yet. We are completely blind in this. We don't have any idea what it's going to be covering or what's going to be like the talking fifth points or anything. What do you think is going to happen? It's hard to say, but I'm curious. I say let it rip. It's going to be fun. Men should be the stable ones. Men don't need to be crying in front of women. And ideally, they're not splitting chores. And I don't mean that disrespectfully, but I don't. I think that if a woman cannot look up to you in some way, then she cannot respect you. And if she cannot respect you, she cannot love you. I totally disagree. Totally disagree. I, I totally agree. <laughs> totally disagree. <laughs> Told him no. No? You don't agree? I was I was agreeing with dude. He said totally disagree. Totally disagree. I mean, it, it has two sides to it. I guess that's why. I, all right, we, we jumping right into it. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's the whole good. point of the introduction. It's the hook. Sure, it's the hook that's better than Roadhog's hook. Shit, apparently. <laughs> yeah, get hooked in there bow instantly. Yeah, I just got eliminated. Step forward if you agree with the prompt. Men are designed to want to sleep with multiple women. What are you, what's your take on that? It's true. Actually, it is true. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, even, like, I'm married myself, right? But even when I go to the gym, we can't help but when we're at the gym, there are other females around there. And we can't help but see what, you know, what they're doing at the gym, what they're working out on and everything. They don't want what they can't have. Yeah. I mean, it's natural. I mean, you don't have to act up on it at all times. Like, it's natural. It's okay to feel that way. Absolutely. Just, I want to feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> already on demon time and shit. <laughs> it's already three o'clock on the dot. How do we step up? Like, do I... Yeah, I would say um, I definitely agree that uh, men, you know, want to sleep with multiple women. I think it's natural because uh, one of the things are is because we, you know, we have so much sperm <laughs> and that we, you know, we produce so much sperm and that makes us want to repopulate the earth, basically. And so a lot of times what happens is, is I think that society is telling men not to do that for whatever reason. You know what I mean? And some some guys fall into that. But I definitely believe that, you know, men actually want to be with multiple women. Bro, hold on. Look at dude over here on the right. Look at him sitting here actually holding his hands like this, just leaning forward and shit. Look at that pose. Like I can't I can't even with his face. His face is so serious. It looks like he's actually about to enter a boxing match. He's determined to listen. Bro, he has all of his focus centered on listening to bro. <laughs> I'm not even kidding you. Rest of the, rest of the video, my hands gonna be this. <laughs> she doing it right. Yeah. I mean, maybe this is old school thinking, but it's just like for survival, you need to have lots of kids. Mm. So someone's pregnant. How do you keep multiplying? You just more women, right? right. Not saying it's right or wrong, but it's just kind of the way. I think women even cheat too. It's like, <gasps> yeah, I think bro, actually, no. and fuck, fuck you. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but seriously, on the topic of like women cheating, also though, like it does happen quite frequently. Mm -hmm. It doesn't happen as often as men, as far as I know. I'd have to actually look up the studies and everything, but as far as I'm aware, it's almost kind of like. A 40 60 percentage like 40 percent of women cheat and then 60 percent of men would cheat just based on my own opinion I, that obviously i don't have any facts data or statistics to back that up i'm just kind of shitting out of my mouth right now <laughs> but that's just my opinion of how it is i'll probably like put up a prompt uh an actual like study up on the screen here just to like show how wrong i was that's you <laughs> that's me <laughs> <laughs> Right. And th the thing with me, I'm, you know, I'm not monogamous. So I have, I have a wife, I have a girlfriend and I still, you know, from time to time hook up with other girls. <laughs> you know what I mean? And so, and the thing is, it, you got too many cakes, bro. Let me yeah, eat one that, too. That, that, that's, that's a little, I, I wouldn't ever do that. I wouldn't ever like, like eat my cake and have it too. Right. Shit, I'm going to eat my cake and everybody's listening at the party. <laughs> 
Yes. Yeah, I agree. I, I think a man can absolutely be head over heels in love with a woman and still sleep with other women and it not mean anything to him. Right. And I think all men have the proclivity to want to sleep with other women. Now, whether they're able to speak to that and actually act on that or not, or if they've been able to, buy, like, like you said, like religiously find a way to work around it. And I think religion has been great for that because if it weren't for religion, we probably would not have society. See, but here's the tricky thing about that is that religion before the Romans started spreading Christianity. You're a little bit familiar with history, right? Mm -hmm. So think about how people mm -hmm. were in religion. So think about how societies were before actual Christianity came along. Think about how like um, the people that were in like into Hinduism and Buddhism and um, what was the original first religion? I want to say it was Hinduism, but I'm not really 100% sure on that. My yeah. point being is that I really do think that the Romans had such a huge effect on how modern society is these days. Yes, a large part to Christianity, but also in large part to the technology that they brought along with them, as well as the extreme circumstances that they put themselves through, whether it was with Rome or with the um, Italia Crete people, uh, what were they called? The Spartans, the Spartans. Between, honey, baby. yeah. Green honey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I, I think that like the whole modern society being based on like ancient Roman society is really really true actually when you really think about it it's like the last two thousand years or so have been shaped by entirely almost by the romans That's well right. at least in the western world for america and yeah. europe they laid down the blueprint so yeah we and spain <laughs> spain they took my fountain it's it's looked upon as a great thing for men to have multiple women women are ashamed for that shamed totally i have one son and two daughters and i know the difference of how i felt when they were 15, they're in their 20s, now they were 15 versus him having multiple partners or my daughter. So if I, if I could stroke a check for a million bucks and never feel that feeling again, I absolutely would. I really, really would. It's something that I really hated myself for and I felt very apart. I grew up in the South, South Louisiana, I was a Bible Belt. And I felt very distant from people around me because I had this urge in me and could not understand why I was so different. Like the biggest self-hate I've ever felt in my life Actually, I think you can relate to that a lot, Jamal. Oh, what was that? I'm not going to go in depth with it, but yeah, what was that? <laughs> well, let me ask you this, though, because you said you're bisexual, so does, that means you're attracted to men and women, right? So if you're with a woman, well, aren't you also attracted to men? So wouldn't you want a man and a woman? No. So you're just like, I just want one and that's time. I made a commitment. Mm. And it's not even like I'm... But it's there's no a, urge to want... There's always more urge. That's, that's, that's what I'm that's, 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 that's what we're talking about. But that doesn't mean that I'm biologically, I think men and women both have urges. Exactly. Like that's it with me too. That's what I was trying to explain earlier in the video about me being married and I'm satisfied with the wife that I have now, but that doesn't stop me from seeing females out on the street or in the gym or at a cafeteria or at the, wherever, mm. wherever. And I'll still be taking looks because there's always that inner desire in me to always want more, but I know what I have and I'm grateful for what I have. Therefore, even if I see another female out there, that doesn't mean that I just want to immediately dick her down. No. It might. It might. I was speaking but... about <laughs> <laughs> But no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm good on that. All, then that goes back to all of us then. All of us are meant to sleep with multiple people. So, and that's just a whole different society thing. But it's not just, the question was, is it, as men, are we? And I don't think so. But regardless, I think it's important to understand, because I, I think we are. And if we can come to terms with that, we can begin to move past it if that's what we desire. But if we reject that idea that it's not natural, then we can't move past it if that's something that someone wants to do. Yes. Yes, absolutely yes. 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 <laughs> this man preaching right here. What you saying yes to, man? I'm saying yes to the fact that if we don't accept it, don't accept the fact that we have these urges that we can't actually move on from them, even if we're aware of the urges that we have. If we don't accept the fact that we have these urges and then move on from that, then we can't ever actually move forward with what we truly want in our lives, whether it's career or money or success or some type of, you know, anything in your life. Regardless of whether it is, you could be like you could be like a dude that's out 
camping in the Russian wilderness for 30 years and that's your calling in life and that's totally cool and everything, you know, but until you actually come to terms with what you truly want deep inside, your dark side of yourself. Like, I don't have the book on here, but um, in the book, The Way of the Superior Man, that's actually a whole dedicated section is owning your dark desires. And if you don't own your dark desires, then you can't move forward with your life unless you actually start to realize that these dark desires are what you want. And now that you actually have the goal, now you can actually move forward with how, what can I do in order to get that goal? That's why I totally agree with him. I see that. Shoot, there's a way to it, though. Cause like, shoot. Obviously, there's always a way to it. You can't oh, just, you can't just... <laughs> Let's get back to the video. Submissive women are more attractive than dominating women. What's your take on that? It's hard to say. I like them both. Like a submissive one, yeah, like y'all have fun. There's no bickering. You have peace. As long as you know the way and you lead the way, you'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll enjoy what you do because she'll lead the way. But at the same time, a dominant woman will also tell you what you like. Yeah, that's the difference between it. Being an alpha and a beta, yeah. For an alpha, a submissive woman, yeah, you already know what you want to do with her, so she's going to follow. A beta, like, he wants to know what the girl wants and shit, so, like, it's going to be like, he'd rather her speak her mind and, who knows? Yeah, betas, they, they want her to take control and blah, blah. I'm saying it's either way, because I like one that can ride hard and one that likes to get ridden hard. You know? <laughs> Hold on, this is... <laughs> Hold on. I'm spitting too much. <laughs> Take it over, man. <laughs> okay, but for, for me, it would absolutely have to be a submissive woman. It's far, far more attractive than a dominating woman. And I'm not even really sure what a dominating woman means in this context because it would, like, a submissive woman is naturally somebody that's friendly, feminine, um, you know, um, what was it that Kevin said? Agreed. Be yeah, agreeable. Somebody that goes with your plan and like they don't just outright say yes you can on everything that you say but they'll like at least help you in the process of making the decision, you. they'll support you, they'll give you good advice, they'll kind of second guess things. At least that's how me and my wife operate. She'll always be questioning me on my choices. And it's not because well, she doesn't that's trust a me. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not because she doesn't trust me or anything, but she just wants to make sure that I have everything planned out and there's going to be as few mistakes as possible with any business decisions that I make going forward between our relationship. Conversely, because I like being in the dominant leading position, if I were to be dating a woman that's also wanting to be in a dominant leading position, then that would create issues in the actual relationship. Because both of us want to take the reins and go, yeah, you know, we both want to do it. But then if neither of us are saying, okay, this is actually not a good idea, you know, she's going to go off and do her own thing, even though I'm saying, hey, this other idea is going to be better, and that's going to create a lot of tension, and I don't believe that that's the good kind of tension that you want in a relationship. Not, not like this kind of tension. <laughs> that's the kind of tension that you want in an alpha and beta relationship. <laughs> There's a lot of more to that shit, but yeah. Overall, I would say that submissive women are definitely more attractive than a, a dominating woman. Yeah, submissive is pretty cute, and I prefer it, but... So you agree? Yeah, I guess I agree. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That <laughs> dude was like, oh, hell yeah. They know. They know. Bro, he just hell yeah. He said, hell yeah, my shirt just said, <laughs> just sat down and said, hey, look, look at my shirt. Right, and I can't, I can't say enough. It's like, as a man, like, you get to take pride in taking care of a woman, yeah. protecting women. What about your daughters? Man, you want to protect them, provide, care for them. That's okay. Let them be feminine. A strong man doesn't need you to be a man. Mm -hmm. He say, fine, you can be a woman. You're safe, sweetheart. You right. come with me. Right. That's it. Now, something else that I want to point out that's really interesting to me is that only three of the five alpha males agreed with this statement. What was the statement again? Are submissive women more attractive than dominant women? Mm. So only three out of the five agreed. Okay. And of course, five out of five betas didn't agree. All right. So that means seven out of ten overall people in this particular subject would say that dominant woman are more attractive than a submissive woman, which is very, very interesting to me. So I'm actually high key interested in this segment. You do you. They know now that they can do things on their own, but I don't think they necessarily need a man. 
But I think what they're looking for is that intimacy to have a partner. But I don't think that they require one. Oh, no, they do. Because, uh, you know, a, a lot of these girls, they usually go home and cry at night from being lonely, from not having a man. They have all these things, and then they don't, they're, they're upset they don't have a man. You know what I mean? And I heard you say that, you know, women want to be the men's equal, but you, you don't see, and maybe this could just be a societal thing, that a societal pressure, but you don't see women doing things that could make them equal to the men. You don't see the women approaching the men. You don't see the women paying for the dates. You don't see the women uh, being more assertive to the man. You see what I'm saying? So where is that at? they got options. They got so much more options than men. Yeah, but there's different takes on that too. Like, honest, like honestly, all of that doesn't really have too much to do with just naturally being a submissive woman, in my opinion. Because like, my wife can absolutely pay for her own things. She has her own job. She, you know, whenever we go out, sometimes she'll just offer to pay the bill or whatever, but None of that really has anything to do with the leadership that you hold as a husband and as a potential father if you have kids compared to her being naturally, it depends on the female of course, but in my case with my wife, she's just naturally really feminine and everything. So she doesn't want to be the one that actually takes leadership on anything. And even if she does, she wants to console with me first and have me set everything up and have me go through all the processes and all the like labor and bookkeeping and you know all the registration and everything so that way she herself can just run her cute little business that she has on the side and i handle all the legwork of it while she just gets to like do her own thing at her own business you know so you know even though i'm the one that's still providing the business for her it's still you know her thing to do that she likes to do and gives her a pastime to do while i'm not home all right so like the thing with like dominant and submissive women it goes back to like their primal needs and stuff like people are adult like adults are just big kids though. no matter how you look at it we're all just big kids we may have different interests may have different things but at the core we all want the same thing we wanted as a child with the dominant women, usually they're people that has to survive adversity, deal with other bullshit and fuckery. So like they realize they have to be strong because they don't have anybody else to be strong for them. The submissive ones have a chance because usually they have like a a father, an uncle, some strong man up in their life that like made their life so much easier going through their kids, their teens to adulthood. And then out the house, boom, they got to find another man to do that shit. So like that's what I'm thinking like, Submissive women wants to, like, I say submissive, submissivity is laziness because, like, yeah, you want somebody, to, you want to make sure that somebody has, has your, like, you got a um, safety line and make sure that you got that shit. You can do your own thing and now you can go, you can either keep on going thinking that you're submissive, being like, I can't do this, I need somebody help. Or, yeah, I, I know I'm a submissive, but I, I can, I know I can do this if I really want to, but I don't want to because I don't have to. I wanted to say something back with the monogamous and the poly thing, but it was about, about like, how. Like how you say, like how girls, like how boys and girls can cheat with each other. Like how girls and guys have different reasons why they cheat and stuff. Exactly, yes. Shit, monog like I don't believe in monogamy too much. Because like, it's been pressured down long before religion, but it was centralized by religion. And the thing is, back in the day, you didn't have, per you didn't have a partner for life. You just said, oh yeah, you want to, you can we help each other through life? Yeah. And like usually y'all die around like 23. Sickness, a paper cut, something, I don't know. I'm like, yeah. I didn't even think they had paper back then. <laughs> <That's very laughs> <serious. laughs> they had to sit there and cut their finger on stone tablets and shit. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, you look at some stone tablets and you say, ah, cut myself. Well, oh, now I'm gonna die of chlamydia. I mean, <laughs> you talking about it, but it happened like that, bro. You that know? was straight facts back then, too. Oh my god. So it brought the need to like have have a system for it. The reason for women is usually the fantasy and shit. So like they can have like they yeah, yeah, they want the wedding but not the marriage. Yeah, the whole type shit. It's the same psychologically thing with that shit. Like they want they want the support. They want the, yeah, they want the support. They want the security. But they're still human. They still want to enjoy life. They still want to see different things. But society says if you go do this, this is bad. And like that's how girls. That's how society is, bro. Like you said, yeah, dark and it's so messed up too because it's been so normalized that you practice hypergamy with people in relationships. And 
Hypergamy is being so misconstrued these days by a lot of modern females because they think that hypergamy means that you want to go out here and pick out the perfect man off of the man tree, you know, the one that's growing at the very top, but you don't want to have to climb the tree to get to the very top. You're just hoping that the man that's at the top is going to just fall down and be there for you to pick off the man tree when that's not what happens. You're not going to just go to a local Irish pub and you know find somebody that's making three hundred thousand dollars a year that's still single that has his own home with his own car with his own business and you're not expecting to like most often when men get to that point they are either a in their 30s or 40s or b they have already found someone already anyways that isn't you so pretty bachelors Right, or they're bachelors like Leonardo DiCaprio is the most successful bachelor out there these days. I'm not even joking. I'm not joking. Can I paint you like my French girl? <laughs> <laughs> but no, no bullshit. Hypergamy has been so misconstrued these days. And it's because there have been such high expectations these last few years for men to be the ultimate performers while females are out here expecting to just do nothing in exchange for everything and then have the lifestyle that came along with sometimes decades worth of life work and business work. Women on antidepressants more than ever, right? And I think that's a bunch of women trying to cope with trying to be like a man when really, let me ask you a question. Are you more attracted to a woman that has a high paying job or to a woman's beauty? That doesn't matter. It's, it does matter. It does matter. But see, yes, it does. Because how are yes, it does. Because how are you supposed to know how a how much money a woman is making before you meet her? When you look at someone, how am I supposed to know how much money you're making? And technically, there is stigma still. So you got to range. No, 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 no. Don't bullshit. I'm not bullshit. That's what I'm saying. I'm covering. I'm covering their ass. Yeah, I'm covering the, the bull's ass. But no bullshit. But um, yeah, I'm saying like, yeah, that's the thing with it. Yeah, it's beauty. In front first, because like that's what you can all already defer. Rather, you can tell if she's ugly or you can tell that she's beautiful. The money thing that goes into the game, because a person can have money and dress like a bum, or a person can have hella money and just faking it till they make it type deal. And like, yeah, like right there, you'd be like, which one I'm going for? Oh, she got a suit. She look like she's going to the office. Oh, she's sexy. That girl over there. Why the fuck she got two different shoes on? But sure, she could still be beautiful, other girl could be ugly. But see, here's the funny thing is that sure more know. often than not, the girl that has two different shoes on is probably actually richer than the one that has the office suit. Sure. Low key. Then it goes to beauty. I mean, like, it, it is a way to, at least for you to assume a person's own um, wealth. Just yeah, but there would be a lot more people out here. You would be surprised, even in your own neighborhood block, just your own block of a neighborhood. You would be surprised how many people around your neighborhood alone have more than $100,000 in their bank. Now, they're not going to tell you that, but there are so many people out here that just have money that they built up through their own business, their own side income, or through life and everything. But you would never know it because they live modestly. And that's true for a lot of people that actually make a lot of money. That's what I mean. It's a game. Like You never know because... Some people play the role, some people So I think that's a really unfair comparison to ask, would you be more attracted to a beautiful woman or one that makes more money? Because you can't tell how much money they make right off the bat, whereas beauty is subjective and you can see it right off the bat. It's just not a fair comparison. It's also a trap though. Like the alpha know what he was doing. He, he set up the question because it's a failure question. The answer is to be beautiful. It is a trick question. But yeah. like to a beta, they gonna think deeper than that because they're not just thinking with the, oh yeah, this is fact. They thinking like, what about other people's point of view? Because that's the that's the thing I don't like about alphas. They they selfish. I am and selfish. Like, thank you. Yeah, they're selfish. And like as a stigma, like I like shit. The videos don't tell me how alphas don't like stigmas because stigmas don't like alphas. And it's a whole mix between them two and shit. And I'm like, I know why. I don't agree with alphas. I don't want to be an alpha. I want to be a beta. I'd rather not be a part of the hierarchy because you're just a stigma. Yeah, I'd rather not even be a part of that shit because. <laughs> It's pathetic. I think it's also that societal pressure that tells you at the same time you have to have multiple women. They're telling the women you have to have that one man, that husband by a certain age, have kids by a certain age. There's more pressure on them than there is men. And for, you know, lack of a better term, I think men have gotten off a lot easier because women have so much pressure um, and they get judged more harshly than men do. For talking about back then when men used to go home bring home the bacon or whatever, you know, 
the the domestic violence rate was pretty high during that time. And I'll also say that for people of color, we never really had the luxury of working one job. So my parents, you know, their parents before them, everybody always had to work. And there's another thing. For them there's levels to this shit. I just wanted to say that. I was saying like, yeah, there's levels to it. Cause yeah, different, like that's what it's all about. It's your upbringing. You have your DNA that programs you a certain way from how your family That's is. That's true because you don't get to choose where you're born or where you're raised. When you're a kid, you don't you're not choose you don't choose to get born and you don't choose where you get to get raised. Mm-hmm. Imagine this. Imagine this. Think about how, how much the world would seem different to you if you was born a girl. Or if women was in charge rather than men. I mean we almost had Hillary Clinton. That don't count. <laughs> 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 but yeah like it's a whole stigma behind like there's so many different levels to it and yeah like they're saying how it how it just simply is how it is and this is how it should be but the other one's trying to say i don't know continue because i fucked up <laughs> and i also would like to ask if you guys find submissive women more attractive than dominant women is that because it makes you feel more validated as a man or is there something there that you feel like feeds into your purpose as a man Okay, but see, here's the thing. It does both. Purpose is something else that's entirely separate from just wanting a submissive woman. Your purpose in life is what you derive from within your soul. Something that actually truly comes to you after very long meditation sessions, very long nature walks, and truly, truly digging into your deep inner spiritual self and thinking about what have I been put on this earth for? For me, my current purpose, as I understand it right now, is to be able to help people with their relationships. I specify in long distance relationships and online relationships, but I still love helping other people find successful, happy relationships. That's my current purpose in life. And that's why I created this channel. That's why I try and help everyone that I see with their relationships. I just hate when I see relationships that don't work because one or both parties just can't seem to work things out. And it's really simple when you really dig it down to just basic human biology. When you understand basic human biology and psychology and everything, it becomes really simple science. But a lot of people just don't seem to get that these days. So it's really like, it's really filling for me to be able to watch people turn things around or improve themselves and then find a successful relationship from that improvement that they chose to be on. What if she starts becoming more dominant? Does that, is that like a... Are you saying if she starts becoming more dominant in our relationship? More dominant or equal to your dominant? Oh yeah, she's gone. She's finished. See, We're done. That, <laughs> see, that's my thing. Like, look, I got children. I don't need somebody else to take care of. And I love your thing about, you know, the Prince Charming and everything. But you know what I need? I need a badass woman who can match my badass energy. I need a badass bitch <laughs> Bro. to be part of the badass when you feel me. That's you! That's me! That's me! <laughs> I need her to be just as bad as me. Right, he's, he's speaking your language right there. He, he was like, that man spoke exactly how you want. That yeah, man was covering was your cute, inner desire right there. I don't want a motherfucker that's, it's gonna be fun. We gonna have fun. Ride or die. Ride or die type shit. Yeah, we gonna die. So a real man is someone that understands himself deeper at an emotional level, has taken the time to do that so he can show up as a rock not so he can show up more emotionally. Problem is, is that if you're super emotional, when we talk about the whole thing of being submissive or dominant, your woman is going to dominate you because you're so emotional. Emotionally unstable. Yeah. Let's say that. Exactly. It's emo let's, let's stop. He's emotional. He's emotional intelligent it's more than you can be. Yeah, and that's also another thing out of the way of the Superior Man book is that they have another whole section dedicated to managing emotions whether it's her emotions or your emotions you need to be the one that like controls the emotions because her emotions as the book describes comes what? in like no no it's like an ocean wave it constantly changes emotions like every few seconds there's a new emotion washing up on shore and now there's a new emotion washing up on shore and in every single new emotion that comes through you need to make sure that you are the one that's able to manage those emotions because if you're just gonna be sitting in the back lines for six hours out of the day, ignoring her and not giving her any attention, obviously she's going to well up even more negative emotions. It's gonna all blow up on you. And then you're gonna be left there with, you know, a wife that's, yeah, what happened? Like the surprise Pikachu face. Oh. 
<laughs> like, how did it come to this? I was only spending six hours on Apex. Oh. How dare you use my game as a <laughs> Not all Apex players are toxic. But I get pretty toxic when I play. <laughs> <laughs> Since you're so emotionally unstable, well, she's going to dominate you, and then she's going to lose respect for you, and that's going to teeter to the waters of the relationship. That's the thing. Yeah, I was going to say that shit. It's like, like yeah, like how you said, each, each time her emotion change, it's like I'm saying, relationships is basically a game. You're playing chess with the other person. You, you guys are on the, on the same team. And when y'all want the best for each other, but y'all still playing chess with each other. You give me this, I, I, react, I react like this. I give you that, you react like this. And a submissive and dominant, yeah, it's, it's perfect yin yang because the other one feeds into the other one. But when it's two of them, about the two submissive ones, they're going to fail. Two dominant ones, they're going to fail and get mad at each other. And like, yeah, it waters down the relationship. But yeah, what I was about to say is, yeah, it's a way that you can do it. Like, you can play up on the emotions. And like, it's a way that she, like, most of the time she will win because, yeah, most people ain't emotional intelligent. Well, most guys ain't emotional intelligent. They'd be like, mm, 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 no, I'm feeling. Mm, mm. True. But, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very emotionally redundant. I have no clue about emotional awareness at all. And that's how they. That's how the relationship gonna go. You be dominant male, you gonna, you gonna bring it. To, you gonna like make her follow your, follow your rules, follow your game, and like she don't got no room to motherfucking take control of the game. But if you play in emotions, then she got rooms to play with your emotions because she know exactly how to make you feel this way or think this way because. They watch you. I do like that. And, you know, it goes back to the question of, like, what do you find more attractive? Because that's what we're talking about. Yeah, it's a it's preference. To remember. What is it? Preference. It's a preference. One of the things you said is, like, when you and your partner or girlfriend get into something and it's, like, a little heated, like, I get off on that. Me, I totally don't get off on that. Like, I need, I don't need any back talk. I don't need any lip. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like, that's when I don't want the dominant woman. When she creates the drama and expect me to fucking fire back up on bullshit with her. You gotta keep up that. Like, it gets annoying. It gets. I'm, I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> Shit, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue. Like, I don't see it. People try to give me arguments, and I just look at them. And just like, to be. You're not gonna react how I want you to. No, I'm just gonna look at you, looking sad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna belittle you, in fact, because you tried. Just, just the way that you placed that, I'm like, yeah, I'm too lazy for confrontation. So even if they do try and confront me, I'm just gonna let it slide. Right, like. You, you what are you win. gonna do about it? Even if I don't let it slide. It's just gonna keep going. Yeah. So why not? I can cut I can see it. I can fuck with it. <laughs> Who are we to decide what women want? Because first of all, we're not women. And second, just because of our personal experiences in our lifetime about the people we that we've interacted with, I feel like that's something we need to take a step back from and clarify that like, no, this is just my personal opinion. In the end, we don't know what women want. Woman knows what they want. No, they don't. I, 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 they actually don't though. <laughs> and actually, here's, here's the other thing about that, too, is that it doesn't really matter whether or not we know what women want. It doesn't matter if we know. It doesn't matter if they know. What matters is what a human wants. You know, I know what I want, and my wife knows what she wants. So I don't believe that saying that giving this whole umbrella term of, oh, a man knows what he wants and a woman knows what, he, what she wants. You know, I, I don't believe that an umbrella term applies to every single individual, obviously. But there can be a case made where a generalization is applied to a specific population, in which case it is normally that women tend to be more fleeting in their wants. The, the wants are consistently influenced. Generally speaking, new Gucci purse, new Chanel perfume, new this, new that, new tiny everything. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> you know the reference I'm making. <laughs> you know the reference I'm making. <laughs> tiny phone, tiny, tiny purse, dress, tiny, tiny dog, tiny, tiny everything. Tiny everything. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I see that. I am great at sex. Yes. Yes. Ain't nobody about this. Oh. Pause. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I'm like, he said, I am great at sex. And I then said, nobody yes. approached. Right. I'm looking at him like, I would have felt alone. He right didn't now. know. I would have stood up and been like, I'm great at sex. Yeah. <laughs> so we not? <laughs> just me? Man, <laughs> just me? 
<laughs> he thought that I did, he thought that I kept the video rolling. He didn't see that I paused it. So he had, he actually had a genuine reaction that nobody agreed. I was I was shook, bro. I even looked at the alphas and was waiting for them. I'm looking at their feet like, Keith, come on, you gonna move? Come on, brother. I know you can dick them down. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I mean, I have a lot to learn. <laughs> That's a word. I mean, disgusting. <laughs> Prove it. I'm going to right now. He said, use the tools. God, give me My you. man said he's out here being like Johnny Sins. Johnny Sins is a f actor that always uses a vibrating in all of his videos. Not that I know. On the girls, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I got afraid. Oh. <laughs> On the girls, right? <laughs> On the girls, right? <laughs> Imagine. Women should not be in position of power. This is an outrage! <laughs> <laughs> Just both of us sit here and flip the desk and it fucking goes through the ceiling <laughs> up to the next floor. Like, Jeff, did you flip that table again? Go back to sleep, honey. Type shit. <laughs> Women should not, should not be in positions of power. Uh, debatable. Depends it on which position. Really depends on the position, yeah. It depends on if the position of power is in a business, if she's the CEO, or if she's like head of operations, or if she's in the position of power in the bedroom. Also, her backstory, because like, yeah, her backstory makes her character turn into an evil villain if, you know, the backstory was bad. So if she becomes like CEO, I promise you, every nigga in there gonna be neutered. Not, 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 not actually. I'm just gonna feel like that. True. Demasculated. Yeah, it's gonna do that, but. Uh, it, it depends on the person. It, it, yeah, it depends on the person and the position of power. But let's see what their actual thoughts are. There's two different pills: the red and the white, the red and the blue. I'm oh, the white pill. Oh, look at old Game boy go! <laughs> Just like his hat says, <laughs> I'm the only one. Let's I think I'm the only one. Can be in he a is the of only power one. Only by herself, but not in relation to being in a relationship with a man. Because when when she's in a relationship with a man. The man has to be the leader. The man has to be the one that's guiding the situation, directing the situation. If it's in any other situation by herself with work, you know, with her friends or whatever, she can do whatever she wants to do. <laughs> game over. <laughs> Your game is over. <laughs> Bro, he's, he's having him on the back. He's Hold like, on. Congratulations, bro. You just been canceled. <laughs> he said he just been canceled. <laughs> It's all right, buddy. The man coming over here and was like, hey, I respect the fact that you tried. Go what? fuck yourself. <laughs> Basically what he said, bro. I'm num no way. I'm num no way, my num. I'm num no way. I first want to ask, because there was a lot of like, like has to, have to's, but like not really a reason behind it. Like, can I ask like, what's your reason behind like why a man has to be in the power, like in power? Why can't a woman be in power? power is such a weird word i'll say more like the leadership role and i and the thing is is that a man has to lead a woman he has to guide a woman because what happens is that when when it's the opposite when a woman is leading that man she usually loses respect for him see you keep bringing back no, 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 the no, 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 respect no. part he, he really does keep circling it back around to losing respect losing authority losing this losing that but again that comes back into the fact that it depends on the relationship the people yeah. in the relationship it just depends it's not black and white he not is. to say that he's not black <laughs> i don't even know if he was yeah like because that's another thing like it, it's not popular science but it's literally what's going on in in the dating market and everywhere else. Like, I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Say it! Women, like, that's the reason why they say it's the betas, like, orbit around her and shit. If they can't find that alpha that fits all the boxes, she'll have multiple partners that will fix those boxes. And, like, I mean, like, yeah, like, it's the same deal with, like, men wanting, like, when you were saying earlier, when women want the same thing, well, like, when men want something that they can't have, women gonna do the same thing. They want something that they can't have. It's just... They're more emotional with it, and we're more logical with it. But yes, we're taught to go into our base instincts because that's the way we're going to survive. Women don't have to because they have. They usually have a man that helps them survive. Like I don't want to sound misogynistic, but when they get a man, bro, they ain't playing the life on easy mode. And like, yeah. honestly, lucky that is true though, especially with with like you know women that have kids. 
it, it, I, I'm just being honest. The females that have kids that have like two baby daddies or something, they always want to be the strong, independent woman that don't need no man, that's raising their kids, that's having a job and a career and making their own money and their own moves and everything. But a majority of the time, Loki, these girls are having their babies be set by their own parents. You know, the the kids' grandparents are the ones that are raising these kids, mm -hmm. or the money that they're making at their main job is going into a daycare, and then they're working a second side job that's going into actually paying the bills, and they don't ever actually have time with the kids themselves. So, like, obviously, it depends, again, on the female and the kids and everything, but a lot of females want the power dynamic because they have made poor fucked choices up. in life, they made poor choices, they, they messed up. up, they've chosen wrong with men, and you know, they have come with the argument, oh, I was young and dumb, and I just didn't know what I was doing. But you still, <laughs> they know, they know, they know, they know. They know. Jump on till no lie, jump on till no lies, I told you. Hey, 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 hey. I heard you say you were from New York. I lived in Manhattan for 30 years as a fashion designer in the heart of Manhattan. She was working as a fashion editor. I held it down with the three kids. I was the one bringing the money home. I was the one doing that. After, the, after my son, my youngest, went back to school, she went back to work. I always wanted to have my own collection. She was like, you should do that now. So guess what? She had the job. She paid the bills while I was building my company. That's a good she dynamic works. too. I'm not going to lie. Which if is. that dynamic works out, that's great. I'm not saying that it always has to be one way or the other. But in his case, it really worked out for him. It really did. It's typically how the beta thing work. Usually a uh, weaker man will latch on to a woman. Like that's the little dream girl manic situation. Or yeah, it's a pixie dream girl manic situation. And then it's the one for the guys. But like, yeah, usually they just need that person to help them learn the ways and learn the trick. Like, yeah, it happened like that. Like. The girl will hold the guy down until he gets up on his shit, and then he'll hold the girl down. And that's usually how it happens, like, with the, with the like, beta situation. Like, she'll be dominant for a while, and then that's what you're talking about. What if she changed from being submissive to dominant? Yeah, dominant can turn to submissive. Earlier in the episode, yeah. Yeah, so I'm like, Yeah, and, like, here's the other thing is that it often also happens, like, not often, but it will happen where a dominant woman is with a submissive man. And the man wants to be dominant and cross over and they, he wants to replace the dynamic. But then he just ends up being a loser and just being a bum and not actually doing anything. He's constantly thinking about doing something or writing stuff down or approaching the first roadblock. And then he doesn't want to get past the roadblock. So I'll just drop it and find something else. It's really go back to his role. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think when somebody's act like with Derek, he actually built a business as he stated. So Derek. it it could work if you're actually in the game, but if you're not going to be putting forth the work to actually show the results that you're saying that you're going to get, then you're probably above. Says, Fuck you. Yeah, you exactly. have no right to You should go in a corner alone. Okay, Nobody not, likes right. you. Nobody mm. wants you. Nobody wants to be around you. You ain't got shit to do with it. Cupcakes and bacon. <laughs> Maybe not that extreme, but maybe the cupcakes and bacon part. A man can just be friends with an attractive woman. He can. He yeah, can. he can. I've got plenty of female friends that are very attractive. Loki. You just gotta understand that it's basic logic, like shoot. But I also know where I am and what I got and everything, so it's not like I'm gonna go out and tap that just because they're more attractive. They're more attractive to me, yes, but that, but like, you know, I have my wife, and she's the most attractive person to me in my mentality and spiritually and everything. She grounds me where I am, you know, so she, at the end of the day, when I can come home, she's still very beautiful, and she still looks very nice and everything, regardless of whether she has her hair messed up and stuff, but yeah, I do got some very attractive female friends, yeah, but I don't think about tapping it ever, no. That goes into it, like, you gotta think about it. You gotta be true with yourself, like, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Shit. The reason why you like it, the reason why you would date somebody is because they make you feel happier. You are attracted to them. That's the whole reason why you why you up in a relationship. So, like, an attractive woman is natural to feel that attraction, but it goes back to being, like, you don't gotta act upon those desires. But at the same time, like, 
you come to a crossroad when you're like, should I just keep it as friends or should I try and make it go further? And like, that's the thing, like you can have friends. But I feel like when you actually make that crossroad visible, when you actually have that crossroad meet in your mind, when that conscious thought crosses your mind, that's when it starts to fuck up. Mm -hmm. Because if you actually consider the option is there, like it is there, I could do it. And you actually consider the fact that it's there, I could tap that. It starts to actually create a rift in your mind and then it creates distance between you and your actual partner. It don't. Like when you say that you can actually tap that and stuff, and you like, no, oh, damn, I was about to say that. I got you! I got shit, I just <laughs> forgot what I was going to say. Aww. But yeah, like I said, like, no, say what you, about, say what you said again, because I'll... Okay, so your logic is that you have the option. You already have a wife, and you're grounded. No, nah, no, nah, see... But you have the option... I was saying it in general. We're not talking about people that's married. We're talking about in a general situation, can you be a friend to an attractive woman? Not because... As a single man? Single man, fucking dating a man. I don't know what the fuck. Can you be friends with a beautiful woman? Whether you're single, whether you're married, whether you're dead. Can you be friends with somebody that you are visually... No, nah, even attract... Like, y'all mean attractive woman is like she looks attractive or her personality is attractive. But either way, can okay, you just... you can't friends? see in a personality until after you interact with them. Can you just be friends with... Yeah, you don't be friends with somebody until you see their personality. That you don't know true. if you like them until you see what the fuck they are. And that's what I mean. Once you find a girl, because like if you was a girl, if you was a girl, no, fuck. Yeah, if you was a girl and you found the same girl, because girls, like that's what, that's another thing. You got to come to terms. Like when you said that when you when it crosses your mind and then that automatically puts you adrift. No, that's not the end. It's when you cross your mind and then... Your feelings about it, because like it crossed your mind. That's just you recognizing the situation and coming to terms with it, being logical with it. Because like you be like, okay, this is the fact. This is the thing. I feel. I feel this way. I can't control it. I feel this way. What is my next step? Will I do this to affect this, or will I hold it in and not affect this, or will I get over it? But you got to get to the reason cause. An attractive woman is because yeah, you find her attractive. The base reason why you're a man. The base reason why you're looking for female. The base reason. So yeah, you can be friends with the attractive woman, but you gotta be able to rise above that base instinct to be like, oh, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I can, she, 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 she why not be my girlfriend? But like shit, you can, yeah, like people that decide, yeah, I don't need multiple women and stuff. Okay, I, I can get easily you. be friends. I get you. If I'm attracted to you, Honestly, I'm trying to I'm trying to smash. You understand? What I'm hold on, to hold on. <laughs> he said it, bro. If I'm attracted to you, I'm gonna think about smashing. Like, it, it's he didn't natural. even say a thinking. He just said I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I was saying when I say that time, I would personalize it with me. If, yeah, if, if I'm attracted to you, I'm gonna want to smash. Uh, we took we we gotta have sex. And we have to have be in some type of sexual situation, or I don't really want to, you know, interact with you. On top of that, I don't believe in giving women non-sexual attention unless we're in a relationship. And the reason why is because I feel like uh, non-sexual attention from a man towards a woman is very valuable. So I'm not just giving you that just to be friends. <laughs> you know, so I'm saying like I'm not just going to do that for you. And so what it is is that if I'm going to do that for you, you have to be under. I feel like he tried spinning it around too hard. I feel like he really tried hard to like, like he realized that he said something that was like disagreeable, very disagreeable. And then he tried to like reel it back in by saying, oh, it's because it's very special that you give non-sexual attention to a female. It's very special and personal. He probably did, but that's a raw take. You change your mind in an instant. You be like, oh wait, I didn't mean it like that, but he still got, <laughs> he got to fucking play, his, he got to play his role. Once you say it, it's out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't but he, he, he did good bringing it back, though. He, he, he did good bringing it back. I'm still lost in what you're talking about. I think when I, when I think about it, like, and I had a technicality on the other side because I, you know, I'm like, yeah, part of me really believes that can happen. But then I go back to my experience in life and my friends and it's really hard. I, I, I was running over there in my head, like, should I sit down? But I was running all these scenarios from life experience of my friends who have said that girls and guys, because it's not just guys. And it's never worked out that way. Right, you're, you can't even get trolling with the guys that you're friends with. Pause. <laughs> wait a minute. You're telling me how you think you won't be able to resist it and 
not be, that's the reason why you buy because you realize that the guy the guys that you Bro. the guys had the qualities that you like no, no, and you no, was no. like fuck this I don't need to have society <laughs> tells me I just need women I can get whoever the fuck tickles my fancy bro was really out here talking about like I, I agree with you while you say it but I'm saying like you technically can't see none right here like your whole shpick is about being free fuck the constraints <laughs> and that's what the thing is about Can't will you be fr will you restrain yourself and be friends or will you say fuck it and see what happens shit shit <laughs> a man should not cry in front of his kids I mean, we both yeah. don't have kids, so we can't really... I, I mean, played... You babysit, so maybe you have more of a... Yeah, I, I played, like, yeah, along with babysitting, I don't play the stepdad, so, like, I don't have, like... Yeah, like, I don't been in the dad situation without even knowing it, but, like, yeah. I mean, it, it depends on what you're trying to... Like, yeah, like, society would say don't cry in front of your kids because that would show a day that they saw their, their rock being weak. But at the same no, time, I think that society at large has actually been promoting the vulnerability, like showing vulnerability that it's okay to be vulnerable and show your emotions in front of your kids because then it teaches them, quote unquote, teaches them to be more emotionally responsive, to be more like open with their emotions. That way, you know, people can actually relate with them more. And society at large has been trying to make men more expand and be more open with their emotions. I mean, that's their, what they're pushing for, but how much but, they've done it. Exactly. But when a man does end up showing vulnerability and his emotions and he starts crying like a little bitch in front of his wife or in front of his kids or something, do you know what happens inside that woman's mind when he sees, when she sees- Her rock crumbling. Yeah, exactly. When the rock, when you take a nail and then you think and then the entire rock crumbles apart, what happens? You instantly, like there, there's just something inside of our brains that just kind of like turns off, like instantly. It, it, it's your instinct saying, yeah. You know, you don't feel like this man can protect you anymore, so you probably should find one that can protect you in stressful situations. But that's the alpha mindset with it. Because, yeah, yeah, if you're a weak, weak man, you're useless to the family because you can't protect them. But at the same time, that's when, like, when the guy is going to cry, if it's not around his friends, it's just going to, like, that's the You that's, can cry around your male friends, that's fine. I'm going to laugh at him. But, um, yeah, <laughs> like, you can cry around your male friends and you shouldn't cry around your kids, but at the same time, like, it puts a stigma to you, like, you have to, like, you're, like, rather you do, rather you're an honest man, you're still trying to keep the curtains up, that everything's all right, and teach the kids and the wife that everything's all right, I'll be good, but then when you see the, the man behind the curtain, you're like, hold up, you're a weak little man, you're just like the kids, and I'm like, that's, that's toxic. That goes back to like why I'd be like, I don't, I don't really agree with monogamy because it pushes so much pressure upon one person. And like it, it's acceptable and it's productive in society, but at the base of it, it just feels like it's just a curse, a generational curse. And this is what's gonna happen, and yeah, you gotta deal with it. Hmm. But that's just one of the man's curses, same way women have a curse. And, it's a whole schmeal about the curse mark. You feel me? Sheesh! <laughs> if you're crying in front of your kids, it's the same thing as crying in front of your girl. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a bad representation of what you're supposed to be in that situation for them. Uh, now, I'll tell you when I do cry. Bro, when you see like one of those kids with Down syndrome get put in a high school basketball game, he starts nailing threes and Jim goes crazy, bro, I'll be crying my ass off. I'm so happy for the kids. <laughs> hey, actually facts though. That, that, like happy tears, happy cries, ha like joyful That's moment crazy. crying is probably really like actually a, a good thing. It's not even like bitch crying or anything. You just like shed a tear or two and you're bitch like- bitch crying? I thought they were just crying and bawling your eyes out. That's bitch crying, bitch. I thought it was just crying harder than normal. You yeah. finally feel that emotion. I can make a bitch cry right now. What's your I'm too strong. Wait. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have a father who I've never seen cry. So I get that. I was that man. Again, you have to understand my kids and my middle girl, my middle world daughter, who I'm going to talk about, is 26 years old. Now, for some reason. Bro, but you ain't nice. 
You, you are not nice. That was, that was not nice. You are on I demon you, time, my friend. I told you, like, shit. Female, she could be attractive. Sheesh, why not? It seems native. Shit, I, love, I like, shit, I learned native stuff before I learned black and white shit, so. <laughs> Automatically, his daughter might be my dream girl. And she's 26. Shit, bro. So it's the same. Sheesh. So, you got any final thoughts? Mm. Opinions? Final thoughts upon the matter. Yeah. Um, shit. I mean, shit, you get a girl pregnant, it's not like you got to carry the baby. You still can go to another one and, and another one and another one and another. Like, we're programmed to keep going. That's why you can have just one man and like 30 women and they all have to be impregnated by them. But the other way around doesn't really work. Yeah, my overall thought on the video is that it was really interesting to actually see a lot of different perspectives on it. I was actually really surprised myself by the fact that there wasn't, like, I didn't agree with everything that all the alphas said. And I also didn't agree with all the things that, like, the betas said. I kind of had, like, mixed takes of both the alphas and the betas, which... I still consider myself to be a fairly alpha male. I'm definitely not like old dude up there that's talk that's like the only guy that's saying a woman shouldn't be in position of power because a man should be in power. You know, I'm not old dude like that, but you know, I still I'm, I'm still firmly on the belief that I'm an alpha more than you know a sigma or a beta or anything else, right? What about you? What's your overall position? Yeah, you don't change, even have start. to have one. It hasn't changed from the start, bro. I already knew it was going. I already knew how it was going to go down. I knew the alphas was going to have some stuff I agree with, and had some stuff I didn't agree with. I knew the betas was going to have some shit I agree with, and had some stuff that I didn't agree with. So yeah, same same deal. They all got different opinions. It didn't really change my opinion. But. So it was a giant waste of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, let us know what you think down in the comments. Also, subscribe to my channel because I'm brand new here and this is my first time doing this. So, show support, show love, show whatever you like, show hate. I'll, um, you know, just go ahead and go wild. Um, show us shame, show us support, show us whatever you want it. 